lot full. Well. Yes, sir. Bro, this is crazy. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video, finally on the Ninja H2. I told you guys last time I took it to the meet, you guys were like, oh man, I took the Aprilia, and you guys were like, this is an H2 type of meet, why don't you take the H2? We want to see the H2. It's been almost a month since I rode it. I rode it last time on March 19th on my birthday, and I haven't rode it ever since then. So yeah, it's definitely been a minute. I slept like a few hours, I slept at like 5.30 a.m. and I woke up at like 9 so I can make it to this meet because apparently there's a lot of hyper cars and a lot of exotic cars and we have a little VIP spot in there as well so I'm definitely excited to see what's there hopefully I'm not too late 720 yeah, Aston Martin right there let's make sure I'm filming I have no mirrors so I gotta look through the reflection of the H2 to make sure that I'm filming oh I missed that Aston Martin taking off my bad guys that sounded a little cool yeah i'm i was so happy like to ride this bike again this bike i love this bike it's just crazy it just rides like no other uh like i couldn't believe how fast it was uh i was riding oh a bike that i haven't revealed yet yesterday so i can't say what bike it was but it's technically my slowest bike so going from that to my fastest bike is uh, a little crazy for sure yeah this bike just has so much power i love how i'm in six gear what is up with this thing holy just sit chilling in six gear oh, okay i'm so confused on what's going on i hear a lot of like noise and stuff like that all right excuse me cars i'm coming through no revving, speeding, or burnouts. Ah, uh, R35. One day, I'll get me one. Thank you for the slow sign. I actually would not have seen the bikers. Lot full. Well. Yeah, so the bike section is actually right here now. I heard they relocated. I haven't been ever since. But I'm with the PDM brands. So we got a little special spot. And this is mad. I'm gonna take it for a little spin through the crowd and then come back. My clutch is gonna be hurting with those upgraded uh, clutch springs, but oh well, we'll suffer for you guys. Just little, little baby blips, just so people can see. I hear people saying H2, H2R. This is actually insane, the amount of cars that are in here. Yeah, burning my clutch, my hand already hurts. How are you doing? Are you leaving? No, no, I'm parking right there at the front. I was just uh, walking around. Yeah, going around. Alright, park up. I'll see you in a Yeah, way. yeah. Are you supercharged? Yes, sir. All the hypercars are here. Yeah, 
yeah, all the hypercars are here. I'm sorry, I wanted to go nearby the hypercars, but I think as close as we're gonna get is the other side. Yeah, now that I think they changed the layout, the super bikes used to be here, or like just bikes in general, and then supercars right behind. Alright. What's up? How are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, and the bikes are all the way in the end, though. Alright, I need to back it up. Not the best turn radius. How you doing? Hey bro, go get this plate number. Number one. I saw. He paid 26 million for it. I don't think it's real. It is. My buddy knows the guy. He's right here. He owns the yeah? cars. India. Huh? No, it's real. Thank you, brother. I wanted to ref so bad, but I didn't want to get you in trouble. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> here? Yeah, like just around here, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know? Yeah. But I know they're strict about it. Yeah, I don't want to drama. It would be. I know. Bro, this is crazy. I'm like still half asleep if you couldn't tell. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I couldn't see under at all with the helmet. Ran into the dog. R.I.P. dog. In the comments, how you like it? Oh, you you already rode one at the track event. Yeah. Oh, they, they're not gonna have it on the MWR. No, it's gonna be like this, bro. They, I don't know what's wrong with them. This is the tail I always ask for. I love that tail. This is Troy from Brent Tuning. If you guys didn't know already. Oh yeah. If this plate is legit, number one, then this costs more than any of the cars here. Any of the hyper stuff, any of anything pretty much. Alright, I'm gonna walk around. Nice meeting you, how are you doing? I'm gonna walk around, check out some of the stuff and yeah, I'll be right back. There's a lot, I couldn't even see the hyper cars, it was so packed in there. Oh, I see your McLaren. Alright, I'm gonna walk around, I'll be right back. Put the Rolls Royce I by the wall by the Toyotas. I'm dead. They put the Rolls Royce back there. Yeah. And I see all the bikes are over there now. This is my first time seeing the new layout. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's where the bikes are going to be at. Except us, right? Yeah, we can be here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are you IMK? Yes. I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Hey, we got... Watch your video where you're like... And you're like 10 things. Of course. Yeah, okay, at least you hopefully learn something from it. <laughs> My like what, 5 to 10% female audience? M met a few? <laughs> uh, I think I've had like very few, like maybe one or two that like actually know my content, but very rarely. Yeah. I really appreciate you, it means a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know my hip was broken. I was literally like dying and I didn't even know. But yeah. You're gonna be in the video. I think it's a recording, so. <laughs> yeah, it, you'll know. It's the H2, so. <laughs> uh, to ride, I think it's the V4R. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to ride. It's crazy power, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna kill me like this one. It's still like more controlled. This is just wild. So this is my all-time favorite bike, but the V4R is my favorite to ride. If I asked you for a beginner, you're gonna pick a Ninja 400 over R360? Uh, no, I, I like going to the, for example, like the Aprilia RS 660 is a good bike. Uh, the R7 is a good bike. So like, now that these bikes kind of have been out and all that, like they're kind of like better bikes and also, also like first bikes. So yeah, those are like my first two options. I think they're still really cool. You can have them for a while. I feel like a Ninja 300 or 400, you'll get over really quick. But 
Yeah, but the R660 or the RS, R7, so you know, they're kind of a little bit like higher, so I feel like you can still have fun with them, learn a lot, a lot, and then just skip the next level and get a leader bike. That's my recommendation. Uh, I mean, I went from a ZX6R to an H2. Don't recommend it, but you, you if you're safe and you know yourself, you're gonna take it slow, you cut. You know what I mean? So I had a Ninja 300 for like a week because I didn't know how to ride. I taught myself in a parking lot, and I got a ZX6R, and then I jumped to this, so possible not recommended but yeah definitely i think rs r7 something like that and then jump to like a normal leader bike like an s1k or something like that would be great yeah of course yeah nice meeting you too i'm gonna walk around and i'll be back around this area okay yeah how are you doing man good after your how's the tesla uh rest in peace i think uh, i just recently got an estimate with the tesla it's gonna be i think uh, around twenty five thousand dollars to fix uh yeah but insurance is just going to be down at the shop because it's a tesla for a long time Can I get a so yeah of course bro let's do it thanks bro of course sorry i have the helmet on i'm gonna film a little bit and then i'll be back in this area later all right see you bro g wagon section or the okay i don't know where to go this time is actually insane The full carbon 720, I love this blue carbon. With the roof scoop and everything. Let's look at the big boy cars though. Oh my god, this Pagani. Oh, a 918. That's like my favorite hyper. If I could choose a hyper that isn't crazily priced like a Konus egg, I'd do the 918. Close second is a Senna. I think the Senna's look absolutely crazy. I feel bad walking through here because of, you know, everyone taking pictures and all, but we're going to do it for the content. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. But uh, my all-time dream hypercar is a Koenigsegg, 100 million percent. So we're not going to stop and linger for too long because uh, people are taking pictures and I don't want to be that dude that just stands in front of everyone taking pictures. We'll pause here for a little bit. Appreciate all these hypercars and then we'll move. Okay, whoa, I don't think I've seen this one before. The map finish, Ford GT. Yeah, but the hyper cars are crazy. Obviously, we're gonna, we're gonna have to come back and check them out uh, another time or something. But I'm glad we caught the hypers. That's the one thing that I was like, ah. Hopefully they haven't left. Usually they come like super early and they leave really early. I, like, I, I, as much as I love event doors after seeing all these hypercars, it's just like, it doesn't even attract your attention as much anymore. Yo, good, how are you? Where are you parked? At the front. First thing at the front. You'll see the H2. Yeah, I saw the... the yeah, right next to the 6x6 G-Wagon. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk around. This is a lot of crazy cars. This is what the... Is that a cool... Yes, exactly. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> I've never seen a quad exhaust Aventador. That looks mad. Okay, the bikes are all the way over there. We gotta kind of go by the bikes a little bit. Yo, yo, how are you doing, bro? Uh, good to see you. Good seeing you too, man. Whoa, that's crazy. The that Huracan, the paint splatter. I think it's kind of cool. Go check out some of the bikes and the bike section and then yeah this is this is sad for the bikes man we used to be here like in the center of attention and then you got the other side and now then they put us in the corner i think one of the events the bikers were like just revving and not listening and everyone started doing it so they couldn't really control them and they were gonna ban the bikes actually completely from the show that's what I was told because we're in t like touch with the people that host this uh, Cars and Coffee, which is this is the main Cars and Coffee. That's a cool ZX10. And the forged wings, I've never seen those before. I like that. Ooh, the blue titanium SC project on this R1M. I need mine to get more blue. I need to ride it more. That's a, that's a lot of new R1Ms. But yeah. And the guy said that like the problem is you guys got to know you know you got to understand for all the people that watch this video The problem is not the people that are hosting these events. The problem is the city 
if it's too much chaos and stuff like that they can't keep having those keep having those events and as you can see how are you doing bro nice meeting you too they can't keep having uh, these events and they're gonna kick them out of this area if you know people start keep backing up that's why they say no revving no burnouts uh, obviously revving you'll just get yelled at burnouts I'm pretty sure you get like kicked banned and they kind of like I think target your vehicle <laughs> yeah how are you doing yeah uh, all the way by the tent over there just came to check the new bike section it's a little sad over here in, in the corner over there uh, yeah the undel undertail termy with a forged uh, carbon. I like that. Hey, the toast on the R1 sounds familiar. That's nicely done. A lot of carbon with the red makes it pop. All right, now we got to go back to the exotic section, exotic slash G wagon section. I don't, I don't even know at this point. We got to go look at the backs of the hypercars. That's what, what we really got to look at. But yeah, I was talking about how it's important to stay respectful to spots like this. You know, I can't be revving and redlining, yes, as much as I want to through the crowd. You know, give the people what they want. Let them hear the H2, the whistle and all of that. I can't be doing all that because we don't want this to end. This is awesome. People get to come, appreciate these cars, look around. You guys get to see them. You know, if this got gets canceled, first of all, a lot of the people that host this stuff lose business. Second of all, uh, it's just... I don't know, like, okay, I gotta, I gotta appreciate the G-Wagon lineup right here. And they're all, like, lifted. How are you doing, bro? Uh, you answered my DM earlier. I told you I'd meet you at a meet one of these days. I think I remember. Uh, 1K fairings. <laughs> oh, no way. I literally just filmed a video installing them, like, two days ago or something like that. Yeah. You answered DM and I was like, oh, no fucking way. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Nice meeting you, too, bro. Uh, the H2, it's right behind that G-Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is awesome. Well, I love these. I don't need me one of these. This one, one day. This, a G wagon, preferably. I don't need a six by six, a four by four. I'll be very happy with, honestly. Uh, but also, an R35, a 918. My voice just went really high, and you know it goes that high. Oh my God, seeing these hypercars is just never gets old. Seriously, it's, I can't believe the, like each one of these is like a price of a mansion. <laughs> I love the 918. Imagine this if it was like full carbon, exposed carbon, just like the Pagani. Let's go back by the H2, and then I'll try to film when the hypercars start leaving or stuff like that. Yeah, this is definitely one of the craziest times I've been here. It's just absolutely crazy. So many people like look at this trust me trust me I have the urge that every biker has I want to ride through here and just you know rev and give people the show people want to hear the supercharged H2 I know I know some do some do some don't yeah I think we went over pretty much most of the exotic cool car section yeah if this license plate is real I'm pretty sure this license plate is actually more expensive than any of these cars here all right how you doing, bro? How you doing? Nice meeting you. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it in person. Yes. Holy shit. When I first got it, I used to daily ride it everywhere just so I can let people see it because same thing. Till I bought one, I only saw it at like shows a couple times. Never out in the wild. So I used to ride it a lot. Now not as much, but here she is. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing, bro? All right, guys. I think we will pause this video here and <laughs> the kid knows what this is he's like ah it's an H2 <laughs> hey. alright so yeah as I said we'll pause this video here and we will resume as soon as we start leaving or the hypercar start leaving or something I'll try to get some sort of content for you guys a little extra stuff obviously we're gonna film on the way out maybe it's gonna be packed maybe it's not hold on what even is that what is that and how do they ride this here what the 
There's no way somebody drove this here. If somebody drove this here, we definitely need to film them driving it up. I doubt somebody did that, but just in case, we definitely need to film them riding it. Or driving it. I keep, I keep getting confused. <laughs> now everything is a bike, hey? How are you doing, bro? Of course I do, bro. Thank you. Of course. All right. Be uh, right back, boys. This is crazy. I want to like keep filming and walking around, but what am I just gonna keep doing circles? And I can't do too much of the action stuff. So this is what you guys get. Sorry, no action, but a lot of cool vehicles for your eyes. So be right back. Different. 